am so happy to see y'all again. I'm Kelly Baker and I am from the Hope Mills Branch Library of Cumberland County Public Library and Information Center. And today I have a wonderful program about dragons. Now I know what you guys are thinking, man, dragons aren't real. Let me tell you something. I got a little buddy right here with me that's gonna prove otherwise, but we're gonna talk about him in a minute. First thing we're gonna do is we're gonna do our hello song. Okay, and so before we get started on that, I'm gonna teach you a couple of signs. Uh, this is gonna be an American Sign Language, and it's gonna teach you how to do some of the signs that'll go with the song, okay? So the first one we're gonna do is hello. So you just take your hand like this, put it up to your forehead like you're saluting, hello. All right, the next word that we're gonna learn is the word for friends. Now, I want you to take your finger like this. I know you got one with you. I bet you got another one that looks just like it, don't you? Well, these are our two little friends right here. And what they're gonna do is they're gonna hug like this and they hug twice, okay? So this is friend. So we have hello and we have friend, okay? And so the next thing we're gonna learn is the word for time. So I don't know if you guys remember having watches on. Some of you probably do, some of you probably don't, but just like you're looking at a watch, so time, and then just like time, we're gonna take our index finger and we're gonna go say, say. So just like you see in the words coming out of your mouth, say. All right, so hello, friend, time, say. Got that? You wanna try it one more time? Hello, friend, time, say. Got it? Great, now you got everything you need to be able to do this song, okay? Here we go. Hello friends, hello friends, hello friends, it's time to say hello. All right, you wanna try it one more time? All right. Hello friends, hello friends, Hello friends, it's time to say hello. All right, great job you guys. All right, boys and girls. So for those of you who think dragons aren't real, I want y'all to get a load of this little guy. This little guy is Brazzle and he is what is called a bearded dragon. He's actually my bearded dragon that I keep at home. And I know you guys are thinking, what? You can't have a dragon as a pet. Oh yes, you can. This little guy right here, he's actually a lizard, but they call him a bearded dragon because he has a beard right here. You see this orange part right here? Mr. Brazel here is what they call a fancy breed. Now, most of the regular uh, bearded dragons are like a palish gray color, but this guy right here, he's actually golden and orange and with a little bit of brown. You can actually see the little brown spots on him. Right now, he's a juvenile, so he's in the middle of a shed, so that's why his colors aren't as bright as they normally would be. But this is my little pet bearded dragon, and he doesn't actually have wings. These are a costume that he put on because he thinks the dragon should have wings when they come to story time. I tried to tell him he didn't need to have wings, but there you go. But uh, you're probably wondering, well, I mean, Miss Kelly, you have a pet dragon as a pet. What does he like to eat? Well, I'm glad you asked me that. Mr. Brazel here is what you call an omnivore, which means that he eats both meat and veggies and fruits. Now, Brazel here, he doesn't like to eat his fruit, but he will eat his veggies. He loves to eat his salad first thing in the morning. The things that he likes to eat are like broccoli and kale, zucchini, squash, all different kinds of yummy things. And I know y'all are thinking, but it's actually really good for you and it's really good for him too. So, hey, you could eat like a bearded dragon if you eat your veggies. And the meat that he likes to eat is actually bugs like insects. And for Mr. Brazel's favorite, he likes crickets. Um, but they'll also eat mealworms, really any kind of insects. It just depends on the kind of the kind of dragon you get and you know what they're used to eating from infancy. So like I said, he's a juvenile, so he's not fully grown yet, but you can actually see he's gotten plenty big. You can see him from tip to tail right here. He's about as long as the tip of my finger all the way to my elbow, which is a pretty big dragon. He actually started out about this big and he was all black and gray and he was really cool but he could get as actually as long as up to my shoulder whenever he's fully grown. All right, so you're probably thinking, well, where did these bearded dragons come from? Well, I'm glad you asked me that too. Brazel, his ancestors are actually from Australia 
and there are actually still wild bearded dragons out there now, but you probably don't want to wrangle one of them and keep them as a pet. These guys have been bred to be domesticated, which means they're used to living at home. Okay, and you probably are thinking, well, I mean, he's not doing anything right now. What does he like to do? Well, actually, he's sitting right here getting warm right now on my arm. He just likes to hang out and be snuggly and cuddle. Yep, this is one of his favorite things to do right here is sit on Miss Kelly. And he'll watch TV. And one of his favorite exercises he likes to do actually is swim. And you're thinking, what? He likes to swim? Yes, he does. He actually has a little pool float at home that's shaped like a flamingo. And he likes to go and swim in the bathtub and that's his exercise. He also likes to walk. This is actually a leash that his wings are attached to. He likes to walk and he likes to go and ride in the car. He likes it, especially right now that it's so hot and humid outside. It's actually really good for him right now to be out and about but you gotta keep him very, very warm. That's why he likes sitting on me right now. If he gets too cold, he's gonna go into a kind of hibernation that reptiles do, and that's not something that we want him to do right now, not in the middle of the summer. Okay, so that's a little bit about what it's like to have a bearded dragon. Um, he's really easy to care for, so if you're thinking about getting a pet, like they, these are really cool, they live in a tank. Uh, it's all glass and it has a screen on the top. They like plenty of things to play with. Uh, he has a rubber ball that he plays with in his, in his uh, tank and he likes to bask on his rocks and on his logs. And he just likes to go and run around in the room and it's a lot of fun. And they just make really, really good pets. All right guys, so you guys got done listening to a whole bunch of stuff about a dragon. So let's shake off our wiggles a little bit and let's do an action song, okay? So this one is called Down in the Cave, which is a lot like Down at the Station. So it's going to be along that tune, okay? So just follow along with me, all right? Here we go. Down in the cave, early in the morning, see the little dragon babies all in a row. Let's see how fast you can count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. See the mother dragon flap her mighty wings. Flap, flap, puff, roar, off they go. You wanna do it one more time? All right. Down in the cave, early in the morning, see the little dragon babies all in a row. Fast count, y'all ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. See the mother dragon flap her mighty wings. Flap, flap, puff, roar, off they go. Good job. All right, boys and girls, y'all have been doing great so far. So now we're gonna talk about some of Brazel's favorite books. Now, he loves to come to the library and he loves looking through the stacks. So he's picked out some of his favorites just for you guys. This is awesome. The first one he wanted y'all to know about was that the library actually has a great stock of books about how to take care of bearded dragons and what bearded dragons are all about. So this is a nonfiction book. It's called Amazing Reptiles, Bearded Dragons, and it's by Jody Jensen Schaefer. Okay, so this is great for all ages. It has pictures as well as facts, and it's just a great nonfiction book with good information and facts about bearded dragons in the wild and also the ones that you can keep as pets. So if you, can, if you wanna learn more about where they come from, uh, how they all like to interact, how they like to eat, um, kind of a, a history of bearded dragons, then this is definitely the book for you. It has tons of information. Okay. Next one we're gonna look at, this is an easy book. This is for kids who aren't ready quite yet to read by themselves or they're just starting out. So this is great for kids and people of all ages. Um, just starting school, that kind of thing. So this is Me and My Dragon, and it's by David Beerzeritsky. Okay, this has colorful pictures and very few words in it. So if you wanna sit with a parent and follow along and see if you can pick out some words, this is a great book to do that with. So this is kind of like how I'm doing with Brazel right now. It's about a little boy who is thinking about getting a dragon as a pet and is thinking about all the responsibility of caring and feeding a dragon. All right, it's a big responsibility he comes to find out in this book. So follow along with him, okay? Sorry, guys, I'm right in your way. <laughs> All right. The next one here, this is an easy reader book. So this is for kids who are first learning how to read and trying to get sound words out and get things going uh, with reading. And it's about a boy and his pet dragon who go to the beach 
and they find all kinds of different things they've never seen before. So this is a really great book for easy readers to start with. All right, good school age book. Let's see here. Ah, here's a good one. So this is actually for somebody who's starting out with graphic novels. So this is in a graphic novel style, uh, it, which is kind of like comic books. So if you're just starting out in that or just like graphic novels for kids, this is actually book one of the Dragon Knight Prophecy series. It's for grades three through seven, and that's about ages eight through 12 years old. And this follows the story of a dragon named Clay and he helps fight for his freedom and kind of helps to fulfill his destiny as they go throughout the journey in this book, okay? So this is a really great one. And like I said, part of a series, so if you like this book, there are many others like it. And you can keep following the story, which is awesome. All right. For the next one here, we have one called the Earth Dragons. Now, I'm pretty sure that that's meant to be spelled that way. <laughs> All right, so this is the Earth Dragons, Darkwing, and this is by Chris DeLacy. And this is also part of a series, and it's actually, again, through, with grades three through seven, ages eight to 12 years old. And it's a longer chapter book, as you can see, it's not as short. And it enters a fantasy world where dragons and humans actually interact with one another. And they coexist, but there is some tension involved, and it kind of follows along to how the humans learn to coexist, Will they work together? Will they be able to fight this greater evil that comes into the fantasy world? I guess we'll just have to find out when we read it, huh? And like I said, part of a series, so if you like it, there's many more like it. Can't go wrong there. All right. So the next one we have here, this is a shorter chapter book, and this is actually good for grades two through five, and that's about seven to 10 years old. Also part of a series, yay. So this is part of the series, So the Fun Continues. It's about a boy that travels into a dangerous world to rescue his friend and his dragon, and they run into much, you guessed it, trouble, because this is called the Dragon Lane, Dragon Trouble, and that's by Jackie French Culler. All right, so that's some of Brazel's favorite books that he picked out for you guys. I hope you stop by any of our mini branches and pick them out or pick out other books about dragons and make sure you come and tell us all about it so that we can tell Brazel that you like the books. All right. All right, boys and girls. I'm so glad you've been here with me so far. So right now we're gonna get the wiggles out again and we're gonna do another action song about dragons. And this one is to the tune to, to one of my favorite songs, If You're Happy and You Know It, except we're gonna be a dragon and we know it. All right, we ready? All right. If you're a dragon and you know it, stomp your feet. If you're a dragon and you know it, stomp your feet. If you're a dragon and you know it, then let's go ahead and show it. If you're a dragon and you know it, stomp your feet. If you're a dragon and you know it, flap your wings. If you're a dragon and you know it, flap your wings. If you're a dragon and you know it, then let's go ahead and show it. If you're a dragon and you know it, flap your wings. If you're a dragon and you know it, shake your head. If you're a dragon and you know it, shake your head. If you're a dragon and you know it, then let's go ahead and show it. If you're a dragon and you know it, shake your head. If you're a dragon and you know it, wiggle your tail. If you're a dragon and you know it, wiggle your tail. If you're a dragon and you know it, then let's go ahead and show it. If you're a dragon and you know it, wiggle your tail. All right, here we go. If you're a dragon and you know it, roar out loud, roar! If you're a dragon and you know it, roar out loud, roar! If you're a dragon and you know it, then let's go ahead and show it. If you're a dragon and you know it, roar out loud, roar! Oh my goodness, you guys are so scary. Such good dragons. All right. Well, you guys make sure you do that at home, okay? It's a good way to get your exercise in and just to have fun. It's especially nice to scare everybody and roar out loud, right? Let's do it one more time. Roar! All right, good job, guys. Thank you guys so much for coming and doing this program with me about dragons. I hope you guys had a lot of fun and actually got to learn a little bit of something. So uh, something else that I wanted to talk about before we leave for today is I wanted to talk about uh, the curbside pickup process for putting books on hold. If you put books on hold with uh, the catalog online through the um, 
Cumberland County website, the Cumberland County Library website. You can put books on hold and we'll let you know when they're available and you can give us a call and set up an appointment Monday through Friday, nine to four, and come pick up your books. That's for adults and kids, so please make sure that you do that. Um, we are here, we are willing to put all that together for you. You can call us and answer, we'll answer any questions that you have. And another thing that we have going on that has started July 1st, so there's still a lot of time left, is the summer reading program. So we're having a lot of fun with that this year. Um, there's bags available with kits, craft kits in them and prizes. You guys get a prize right out of the gate. How awesome is that? Uh, so make sure that you pick that up and start doing the summer reading so that you guys can get even more prizes. And we wanna see you guys coming and saying that you're reading and Brazel would love to hear about the kind of stuff that you're reading. So I'll be sure and tell them if you come by and see us, okay? So you can go to any location and pick those up. And I just wanted to let you guys know all about what we got going on. We hadn't forgot you guys. All right. So before we leave for today, let's go ahead and do the goodbye song, okay? But don't worry, Miss Kelly will be back again hopefully soon, all right? All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to do goodbye. So goodbye starts like this. So just think about goodbye. Okay, and then it goes along the exact same way that the hello song did. So hopefully we remember our signs from the hello song, okay? All right, here we go. Goodbye, friends. Goodbye, friends. Goodbye, friends. It's time to say goodbye. All right, one more time. Y'all ready? Goodbye, friends. Goodbye, friends. Goodbye, friends. It's time to say goodbye. Say bye, Brazel.